I'm Nadine Richard. I'm studying mechanical engineering in the fifth semester at the University of Applied Sciences in the northwest of Switzerland. The European Robot Challenge is an international space and robotics competition in which Mars rovers from different universities compete in this challenge. This was the first time that our university applied for this challenge. So our main focuses was the drivetrain and the manipulator since both these elements are core elements for all four tasks. The four tasks were navigation, maintenance, probing and science. The competition was really a surprise. We didn't knew until the summer that we would qualify and we were really uh, overjoyed with our qualification. As a newcomer, we hadn't had the little inside knowledges and it was a kind of a fish out of water experience. We didn't know what was expected of us. And of course, at the end of the day, it's a challenge. You want to win. And we're really happy to become sixth place from 19 teams competing. Actually, the only newcomer in the top 10. Three, two, one. We use additive manufacturing because of the complexity of the parts you can design with and also the great variety of materials ready to use. We used FDM for the wheels to make them hollow as possible and also for the signal mast to mount all the different cameras and antennas. The Syntertech technology was really important for us for the gripper. The gripper is part of the manipulator, which is the gripper and the arm as it's used in nearly all tasks. It has to be very light and it has to withstand forces from nearly all directions. The part fulfilled all the requirements set and actually excelled at it. It held up really great during all tasks. The biggest advantages, especially for this part, were the lack of support structure and the incredible accuracy and robustness. And with SLS prototypes, you really can test the functions of the part. Working with Syntrotech was really great. We always had somebody we were able to talk to and because of the close proximity of the offices, we even could pick up the parts ourselves. The whole rover project was for many of us getting a looking glass into different technologies, new technologies we didn't know. And Syntrotech opened for us one of these opportunities. So it was really amazing. Right.